What's going on fish nerds? I have wanted to get some more peacocks and haps for our African cichlid tank for a while now. But uh, with the move pending and all that, I've been waiting until we got settled into the new house. We're here now and I've got a box to open. So let's check this thing out. All right, so here is our box from Imperial Tropicals. This just showed up. Uh, this is not the first time I've ordered from Imperial Tropicals, but it is the first time I've ordered cichlids from Imperial Tropicals. And uh, we've got you know, a little bit of seepage through the box, so it looks like one of the bags has leaked a little bit, but it's not like chalk, you know, like flowing with water or anything like that. So I don't think we have like a burst bag or anything, but I am gonna get this open and uh, let's check out and see what we got. All right, fish number one. This is a Turkish peacock. And get that to focus there, Turkish. And hard to see through the bag, especially with this yellow tinted medication they got in there with him, but seems like he's doing all right in there. Let's see what else we got in here. Next up, Red Empress. Four to five inch male. And even in the bag, he's pretty. It's hard to tell much on, on camera through the medications in the bag, but looks like he's doing good. Blue neon peacock. This guy here. Let's see. Also looking good. He's a good size. It's a good size fish. Nice and active. Very good, very good. What we got here? Lemon Jake. Ooh. He's real nice and active. He's trying to jump out. Of course, he's not going to get out of this bag, but. Kind of spaz in there for a little bit, but he looks good. And one more. This guy, we definitely have a backup plan for him, but we got a blue dragon blood peacock. So he's not as big as the others. He's big enough, but he's not as big as the others. And, uh, Really can't see him through the bag on camera. I, I can see him, but you guys can't really see him very well right now. But I uh, definitely have a backup plan for him. Just in case he ends up being more aggressive, I do have a backup 75 for that. Just as a contingency, because you want contingencies with these things. But we need to get these guys in a tank, so let's do that. All right, these guys are now temperature acclimated. Had them floating here for a little while. And now it is time to plop and drop. Let's get them in the tank. All right, so these guys are all in the tank and honestly for having just been shipped they look good Red Empress is looking fire over there Really nice fish Our peacocks over here looking good That blue neon is sharp the blue neon is uh, Basically very similar to a fluorescent, but they've got a little bit different finage as far as the fin color, but overall body color and things are about the same as the fluorescent. Lemon Jake looking good. I'm happy with these guys. And uh, this is a new tank. I don't have lights on it yet, so that's why it's kind of dark and you're seeing a lot of reflection of me. But uh, not a new sponge filter, so don't worry about that. We're good there. But I need to get lights on this tank, this being a new tank. Don't have any substrate in here yet, but again, we just got these guys and uh, they will, in the in the future, be joining the rest of our uh, peacocks and haps that we already have. We'll be combining these two groups and uh, I think it's gonna work out really well. I think it's gonna look really good. I'm loving that red empress back there. But yeah, really happy with these guys. Like I said, not the first time I've ordered from Imperial Tropicals, but 
they, it is the first time I've ordered cichlids from them and I've uh, been planning on doing it for a while but just been waiting to get settled in here at the new house before we do anything like that. I didn't want to order fish and then get them and then turn right around and move with them. So waited until we got settled in. And uh, not, not sponsored by Imperial Tropicals or anything like that. I, I paid for these and all that. So honest review, I've never had a bad experience with Imperial Tropicals. Uh, I've ordered small fish, I've ordered invertebrates, I've ordered live bears, and now I've ordered cichlids from Imperial and uh, no complaints, no complaints. Man, look at that guy. I mean, he's not even been in this tank for five minutes and look how good he looks. Pretty fish. I mean, he's got he's got some bars on him right now, but that's a pretty fish. It's understandable, having just gotten out of a bag. If they were colored down and you know stressed looking, but these guys, I mean, they're pretty. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of the new fish. Tell me which one is your favorite. And I want to say thank you guys for watching. Be sure, if you're not subscribed already, to do that so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. I am setting up a new fish room, uh, having completed the move over to the new house. So if you don't want to miss any of that, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification. But thank you guys so much. You're awesome. God bless you, fish nerds, and I'll see you next time.